Jersey women here in the Juan Sila Championship, and I expect another great fight. We had a good opening bout, and this one should be even better. Well, um, the interesting story I have for this is that uh, one of the legends surrounding Silat is that it was actually created by a woman to start off with. Uh, there was a woman who was, in, in story sense, she was walking with a, a, a vase of water on her head and was evading bird attacks on her way home, and that led to the defensive styles, and then her husband was so upset with her being late, he tried to attack her, not the best part of the story, but she evaded those attacks as well, and that's why, that's one of the legends that um, surrounds Silat. But as you said, steeped in tradition, steeped in history. Our two hosts here, Radin and Lalita, introducing our second fight on the card. And from the black corner, it is my great pleasure to call upon Hailing from Sabah, which is my hometown, from Malaysia. She's 26 years old, Audrey Laura. And here she is, the Ice Comet, as she calls herself. She's pretty skilled in all respects, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and of course, Silat. And I think all that experience will really serve her very well here. Right behind her, she has Ann Osman, one of the top MMA yep. fighters. That's right. From Malaysia, so if she's got her training with her. Ann Osman made an appearance at MI MMA. Yes. Yes, Malaysian uh, mixed martial arts. Another one of these subcategories of MMA. As we watch Audrey Laura make her way to the ring. She, as you said, has a wealth of skills at her disposal and is also going to be fighting a much younger opponent. Is 19 years old. Nor Shakina, who's a kickboxing and silat exponent, so there could be a lot of flying legs in this bout. Now they're going to go through the usual pat down. Now some of these intricacies of ring sports live on. Pat downs. And of course, wishing the fight as well. Pat times just to make sure everything's regulation. Exactly. And then after that, of course, they've added a wrinkle here. We're in, again, one of our guests will be coming over to assist the fighter right before they head on over to the fighting area. So it looks like Audrey's made it through. Now it is highly unlikely, of course, that one of these fighters would try and uh, keep anything on her person or his person as they walk in the ring with the strict regulations that are out there. But of course, Silat in its pure form, as we saw earlier, is reliant almost on a lot of, look at the president there. And there, as you said, Anthony being given the headscarf, the Tajak. You know, Silat is really steeped in tradition here. Yeah, it is the most honorable part of the fight. That is the most precious part of their apparel. And it's given and donned unto them before they move into the ring. And you could say that, of course, Muay Thai has, when it comes to tradition in and around a fight, if to someone that's not used to Muay Thai, if you go up to the southern shores of Thailand, it's anywhere around Thailand, you, more, you might almost think that that is actually a, a cultural festival going on. Um, Silat has a lot of those traditions as well. And they do have to be respected. And we're gonna see even more of those traditions a little bit later on, but let's meet the next fighter first, coming right. in. And here she is, 19 years old. This, the all Malaysia tie. And here she is, Nor Shakina. Exactly the same height, slightly less on the weight category. Looks a little shorter, actually, but. Trust us when you tell you that they are both. She's looking very revved up indeed.
Well, that's a little bit more of a contemporary take on Nausiad. Well, she's a youngster. There you go. Bringing in her own style. And that is actually another uh, aspect of one Silat you have to understand. It's, it's Silat growing with the times. It's Silat growing with the digital age and the century that we live in. And that's why they're also not using the traditional garb. That's right. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup. You've seen Audrey walk into the ring, all business, gum shield in already. And now you see Noshakina, seven years younger than her, with all the sass and pizzazz. And you know, I've met so many young fighters through the years, and you know, a lot of these young fighters are just brimming with confidence. Yeah. And as far as they're concerned, it doesn't matter if you're seven, eight years younger. Exactly. They still feel they yeah. can take on the entire world and still come out on top. And this is going to be one of the biggest platforms for them to do it on as well. Don't forget, we're live streaming to the world. It's going to be highlights on national TV. But a lot of these fighters would have fought before in Galangangs all around Malaysia and not had replays. They wouldn't have been able to go home and see the fight again and see exactly how they did. So it's an important growth um, part of them to be in this level of competition to be under the big lights because that's when you have to deliver once again the traditional garb it means so much to them as it is literally them bonding with the sport itself Now, as you said, we're expecting a really good fight. What we saw in the first fight was, well, they were both tentatively off each other and then they were called in. But really, as we move through the fight guard, we should see a lot more of these uh, fights opening up earlier. As we look at the tail of the tape there, 152 centimeters bang on both of them. Just a little bit, well, bang on the weight class, actually. 47 kilograms is atom weight uh, for one C lat. So, Shakina a little bit under. And now, Meti, our referee, is going to be asking both ladies to go through the eight steps of Silat, the part of the fight that is dedicated to Jurus, or the forms of the martial art. There is Silat Seni, which is the art, and there's Jurus, which is the forms, and the Panguran is the statement of intent. And here is Audrey Laura with her eight steps. Well, that was absolutely amazing. As you can see there, just a solid horse stance in the middle of it and then just moving forward throughout. And at the same time, that just brought the crowd to its feet. Let's see what this youngster can come up with, Noor Shakina. Quick, confident. And I think you're right, I think this is going to be an absolutely phenomenal fight. The second fight on the 10 fights fight card. The hairdressers get removed, it's time for some action. And I think the action is going to come fast and yeah. furious here like in our second bout. Now, both no, ladies, as we said, have the base. training would yeah. dictate more of a kick-based approach. Yeah. And perhaps each one of them thought, well, seeing as how they kick exponents, maybe they'll use the punches instead. Round one. Round one. And as That's expected, as look at they that. go straight into it. A great right. Absolutely huge Reset. fight off the offset. Reset. Resetting the action. Look at Audrey coming out. Punches and kicks. She's got a takedown there. You can continue pounding. Well, she's just about got. Trying to set up the armbar here. 
Uh, such a difficult position to get out of. She's got to move just and move yet. quickly. Ten seconds, ten seconds on the ground is the grappling rule in one c -lap. And you can see our referee stopping the go. action. Action gets stopped. Now, Shakina knows she's in a fight here. And it took 40 seconds for Audrey to start unloading some massive hits. But they call off the fight. Oh, it looks like it's been reset. And I'm just looking over at the judge's table. Matty getting some instruction from... Well, perhaps there was... I just wondered. They look like... There are, of course, illegal moves um, that because, have been... Because the thing is, she waved off the fight. Yeah, she did look like she completely waved off the fight. And I think there, there, there may have been some illegal moves within that um, clinch that they were in on the floor. There are a number of illegal techniques. See, Latin, this pure form is absolutely deadly, so you obviously have to take out things like eye gouging. And, and I did see a little bit of work, but... They're both resetting here. And I think I'm going to get on with round two. Just waiting for some more instruction. Well, we're actually still here in round number one. Now, did the clock get stopped? And that is what we're getting confirmation on, because the moment you see the the referee wave her hands in the air like yeah. what referee Matthew did. Yeah, it looked like it. Was, I agree with you totally. It did look like it was the fight was waved off. And then you heard the four bells. Well, as we understand it, the chief judge has been called in. And the judge is actually going to the other judges right now and getting yeah. their scores. I think there was a there was definitely some kind of exchange or movement within that round well if worse comes to worse here and we do go to the scorecards definitely it's got to yes. go here to audrey it's got to go to audrey yeah she was very dominant she actually was able to knock Noor to the ground right with a from great the right. start yeah has been absolutely we did expect it from her, as you can just see on the top of her forehead there it's already it's only been half a round but well it's beginning to turn up both fighters just waiting for the action to restart the crowd, as you said, Anthony, is really swelled now. There's a lot of people. And I can see some forms moving over to the judges. Menti still, her eyes trained on them. And Shakina and Audrey just keeping time in the ring. And it doesn't look like referee Menti is getting ready to restart this bout. And this is the clinch I was talking about, Anthony. If you just look here... Is everything looking legal by the looks of it? Well, she was preparing to, to go for an arm bar here, as you can see, yeah. grabbing onto that right arm. She was getting into position. For the lock, yeah. And then right there, she stopped Yeah, yeah. by right. Metti, our referee. And we're still trying to find out the exact reasons as to why. As you can see, the clock has been stopped at 107 in the first. Now, this is some precious time for Shakina to Perhaps gather his arms. Well, it's a submission. It's a total submission from Shakina, is what we've heard. Which means this fight is going to be going to Audrey after just those initial bursts. Well, I actually didn't see the tap here. Yeah. That was too quick for the cameras as well. Well, there you go, as expected. Audrey Laura with a comfortable win. Anne's very happy with that. Maybe she wanted more of a fight, but I think Shakina probably saw too much explosive force coming her way in the opening part of that round. And at the same time, no questions whatsoever here from Nui. No, no, no yeah. complaints whatsoever as well. And so I guess maybe she did tap. It might have been a verbal tap that the yeah. referee was able to hear. So a quick fight for the All Malaysia Affair and a quick early win for Audrey Laura. Bonnie Face, the ice comet came and the ice comet well, absolutely blew thr straight through here. Well, Jivan, you and I were expecting an explosive <laughs> second match and that's exactly what happened. Not <laughs> even a, a minute in. It's more than explosive, yeah. Now I can see AJ Pyro, the third of the referees, getting ready for his first bout. And that's now going to be 
of course, as we move through the card. It's going to be Vietnam versus Singapore, Ha Quoc Dat versus Mohamed Solihin. But before that, more VIPs into the ring. As we said, VIPs, uh, some 20 VIPs that are here that have been called in from all the various Silat institutions around Malaysia and the region. Congratulations once again to Audrey Laura, the atom weight female winner. Well done to her. So explosive, we almost missed it. <laughs> but in the time that we did see, in the 40 seconds odd that that fight took, um, good combinations from her. And I think based on the fact that she had so many disciplines within her training. Well, we'll be back with bout three. Stay with us at Once You Like.